Meanwhile, General Keith Alexander, the head of the National Security Agency, has mounted a vigorous defense of the surveillance activities unveiled by Edward Snowden. At a cybersecurity conference in Las Vegas, the general insisted that the NSA did not listen to Americans' phone calls, read their emails, or their text messages. CCTV's Nathan King brings us this report. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but when you're the head of the National Security Agency facing intense criticism stemming from former NSA contractor Edward Snowden's revelations about secret government surveillance programs, that is certainly not the case. General Alexander tried to reassure the crowd at the annual Black Hat Conference of hackers and cybersecurity professionals that the NSA is not listening to phone calls, monitoring texts or emails. What comes out is we're collecting everything. That is not true. What we're doing is for foreign intelligence purposes to go after counterterrorism, counterproliferation, cyber attacks, and it's focused. It was a vigorous defense where for the first time the general showed an example of the information the NSA can collect with a court order. Just one line of information, he said, often it is passed on to the FBI to help break a case. Not everyone here believes it, Heckled repeatedly, the general was accused of lying and ignoring the freedoms guaranteed in the U.S. Constitution. This crowd knows surveillance technology well and so tend to be the most suspicious. The hacking community in general um, values their privacy, values uh, civil liberties, values uh, a free and open Internet. And uh, I think when, you know, the story first broke, um, there was a lot of uh, fear that this was not, it was not the case. Alexander defended the surveillance program, saying they were a response to the U.S. intelligence's failure to connect the dots and prevent the September 11, 2001 attacks. He tried to reassure this audience that very few people had access to information collected and the courts and the U.S. Congress were tough on him and his secret programs. If you're worried about government surveillance, it gets even more scary on a personal level here at the Black Hat Conference. One demonstration said your smartphone could be hijacked using the camera and the microphone to spy on you. The new generation of smart TVs could also be hackable, as are home security systems, showing that in this wired world, whether you're the subject of U.S. government surveillance or a common criminal, we're all at risk. Nathan King, CCTV, Las Vegas. For more on Manning and Snowden, as well as the newest revelations on the National Security Agency, I'm joined from Los Angeles by William Sewell, former director of the NSA. Mr. Sewell, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you. Is General Keith Alexander on a damage control tour at the moment? What did you think about his Black Hat conference speech? Well, I, I think he is, uh, to some extent, uh, on a damage control tour. Um, the, the NSA has been accused of uh, collecting a lot of data that uh, people are uh, obviously upset about. Um, in truth, um, there are rules inside NSA and, and other intelligence agencies as well in what you can collect and what you can do with it uh, that, that tend to keep people uh, uh, in line. Obviously, uh, in Snowden and Manning's case, uh, they didn't work. Well, he also mentioned that 54 terror cases worldwide were thwarted. Uh, what is your opinion about that? Do you think that it is the case? Because, you know, a lot of people aren't really sure whether they should trust what the general has to say at this point. Sure. Uh, it, it, would, it would surprise me if that weren't the case. Um, in, in fact, uh, the NSA collects data to uh, look at trends and look at who's communicating with whom uh, across the world. And uh, the analysis that goes with that uh, tends to point to uh, where some of these um, terrorist activities are, are starting to take shape and, and are starting to um, come to fruition. And uh, we're able to step in at the right time and, uh, uh, you know, take care of it. I'd like to get your thoughts on the Bradley Manning case now in the sentencing phase. In your opinion, with his case and others, do you think the world is more unsafe now because of what they've revealed? I think that it could be. The thing that's important with classified information is one classified document may not be actionable. It may not be something that people can use. A, a second one by itself may not be either. But when you put several things together, uh, they can lead to conclusions uh, that actually put people 
uh, in harm's way. So I, I think the kinds of actions that uh, Snowden and, and Manning took, um, on, on the one hand, there, there are a number of people who support those actions, but, uh, but in reality, they're dangerous, and, uh, and there are other avenues uh, within the government that one could take. Well, you were with the NSA, and, and you helped run that. Um, just from your perspective, uh, can you just shed some light for those, those of us here watching all of this? Um, are we really better left not knowing what's going on? Well, there's a lot of difference of opinion on that one. Um, I, I think that the NSA uh, generally acts in a responsible way. Uh, as I said, there are safeguards in place, there are regulations, uh, there are executive orders um, that, that say what uh, agencies can do and can't do. So uh, I, I think that people genuinely within the agencies try to do the right thing and they try to protect people's privacy. Uh, while doing their job of looking for the bad guys and, and making America safe. want to get your quick opinion. We don't have a t lot of time left about this secret NSA program that's uh, been making news here called X-Score. Um, is it true and are you surprised that we're still, in, still hearing more from Edward Snowden at this point? I think that Snowden has uh, a good bit left uh, to reveal. I'm not sure what it is. Um, and, and I hope that he's careful in, in not revealing it, but uh, um, I, I'm not surprised by the, the recent re, uh, revelations now. All right, William Sewell, we appreciate your time and your insight. Thank you for joining us from Los Angeles.